Hello and welcome to Tip and Trick RAC002, working with AutoCAD Masses. And the purpose of the Tip and Trick is to enhance your skills and share with you solutions um, to the problems that other users have experienced. Um, our tips and tricks are created from the top 30 support calls logged with our support desk. If you require more information on our support desk, then please contact Customer Services on 01784 419911. Alternatively, you can email them on customer.services at cadline.co.uk. All of our tips and tricks can be found on our website, which is www.cadline.co.uk. Please remember we're issuing tips and tricks for all our Autodesk products, as well as the one you're about to watch. Okay, so we're going to just look at bringing in massing from AutoCAD. Um, obviously, the massing elements may be slightly limited within Revit, so therefore a lot of people decide to produce a mass within AutoCAD and then decide to bring it into Revit and model from there. Some people find though that the transition of bringing it in the right areas is where the problems lie. If I just show you our AutoCAD, uh, I've created a mass, and it's literally just a very basic mass at this stage just to get the main principle of bringing it into Revit. So there's our mass and I've saved that. Now all I'm going to do, I'm going to go into my Revit model. If I just switch to my 3D view, I'm now just going to click on my massing tab at the bottom here. Within my massing tab, I'm going to click on Create Mass. This little box will appear just to tell us that it's going to turn on our massing as by default Revit turns our massing off. And we're just going to call this, and it gives you by default Mass 1. I'm just going to click OK on that. Now, normally we'd click on Solid Form or Void Form, whichever one it may be you're choosing to, to model, and then you would choose your method of your modeling within these options here. Now in this instance I'm going to go into file and I'm going to click import link CAD formats. So I'm now just going to search for my file with my mass in it and there it is. I'm just going to bring that in. When that does, if I now hit ZE for zoom extents, that will give me my mass. So I can now orbit around in this. If I now click finish mass, we now find our mass, if you like, that came from AutoCAD, has now turned into the mass that we may be more familiar with within Revit. I'm now able to treat this as, as I would any other mass within Revit, apart from I'm not able to manipulate this, but I am able to add walls, floors, faces to, to parts of the mass. So if I click on wall by face, and now what I'm going to do, select from the drop down what type of wall I want to produce. I'm going to just choose the LWT wall. I'm going to click, click as we go round. We can then also go into our basics tab and just simply add in components like we would normally do. I can click on window and again click to place those in. I can then choose to either delete or simply turn off the mass that I've brought in to Revit. By doing this, I'm going to select my model and I can use the filter command. And there you go, I've got my mass. So if I select that, I can hit the delete and that has now gone from my Revit file. Alternatively, if I just undo that, if I switch off my show mass, mass block at the top here, that will also now disappear. So that is how we can bring in massing from AutoCAD into Revit architecture. Thank you.